Welcome. Today we will be creating buttons and uh, these will be interactive buttons created in Adobe Flash. So let's begin by creating a new project. 3.0 is fine, press OK. And in our properties panel, which is under Windows and Properties, what we're going to do is change the stage size. So right over here under edit, let's change this to 720 by, let's do 360 this time, and that's of course pixels. Let's press OK. Now that we're ready, uh, we're going to create our very first button. So let's just call this button egg. It's going to be a springtime animation. And uh, let's click over here and change the tool to oval and create this nice egg here. Actually, before we create it, let's undo that. Let's go ahead and under the spray can here, get ourselves a nice 3D color, a gray. And there's our egg. So the next step is I'm going to take this line tool, which is shortcut N, and I'm going to draw the line where the egg cracks simply by clicking, dragging, clicking and dragging on top of the egg. Once I'm finished, I'm going to select with the selection tool the entire egg, right click on it, and convert it to a symbol. I'm going to make it into a button and call it egg button. Press OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring to the stage one of the Adobe Illustrator animals from the Ocean and Animals Adobe Illustrator freepick.com image. I'm going to select this penguin. I'm going to do, press Command C on the computer. Go into my Adobe Flash. And what I'm going to do is just press Command V. And it's going to ask me if I want it to be an Adobe Illustrator file importer preference with maintained layers. I'm going to say yes. Make sure you maintain the layers and paste the Adobe Illustrator file importer preferences. So I'm going to move this penguin over. And the next thing I'm going to do is also convert the penguin to a symbol. So I'm going to convert it to a symbol, but it's not going to be a button. It's going to be a movie clip. And I'm going to call it Penguin Dance. So now we're going to compare buttons to movie symbols a bit and how they differ. We're going to double click the button and we're going to notice that we have an up over, down, and hit state. But if we go back to the scene state, if we double click the penguin, we're going to notice a timeline. So let's first animate the penguin. I'm going to animate the penguin every five frames. I'm simply, uh, just for those that are new to Flash, I'm clicking on the frame and pressing F6. And then what I'm going to do is, on 5, frame 5, I'm going to use the transform tool and rotate my penguin slightly this way. And then I'm going to rotate my penguin the opposite way, so he's doing a little wobble. Maybe on 10, he's going to jump up a little bit. I can also double click the little arms and stretch them out a little bit so it looks like he's flopping them. And this makes the animation fun. Going back to 5, 
I can bring them to life a little bit more. Push my pivot point right over there to the edge. Animate my penguin a little bit more here. And there's my little penguin animation. Then what I'm going to do is shift select all these keyframes from 1 to 15, right click, and create a class between. And so everything flows nicely. Okay, so at this point I'm going to go back and you can see here I'm in the penguin layer. I'm going to go back to the scene layer and now I'm going to tackle my button. I'm going to double click and what, what I'm going to do is paste this egg on all the states, the over, down, and hit. So right click, I'm going to copy the frames, I'm going to paste it by right clicking. Now let's go back to the over state. This simply means the mouse over. So what we're showing here is what happens when the mouse is over the egg shape. The down means when the mouse actually clicks down on the egg. And the hit basically just means the area that is clickable. So I'm going to draw a rectangle around that area. It just means that any area around the egg is clickable. Let's go back to the over state. When the mouse hangs over the egg, what do I want? to happen. I want this portion of the egg using my transform tool changing my pivot to the corner I want the egg simply to open. In addition I want to get rid of the stroke by pressing delete and what I'm going to do is I want the egg to be also open on the down state so I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the frame and paste it on the down state. And then on the over state, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and visit my library, which is under Windows and Library. And you can see the little penguin here. I'm going to drag my penguin in. I can also create a brand new layer for my penguin. So let's do that instead. Create a new layer. Call it pen for short. Put it behind the egg. And right on the overstate, I'm going to press F6. And that's where I'm going to drag my penguin. So there it is. There he is. And I'm going to copy it and put it also on the down state. Now it's time to test my little animation. Let's go ahead and return to the scene level. We're inside the egg button. We want to go back to scene. We're going to go to control, test movie, in flash. And you're going to notice a little penguin doing a dance. His little brother or sister is about to be born. And if my mouse hovers over, the egg opens up. And there he is. Both of them are dancing. Now we can add a little fun thing to this. Go back into the button. And we can determine that on the down state, he goes up a little bit more and rotates towards his brother or sister right here. And we could also determine that on the overstate we can uh, add another layer actually and call this layer a text layer and put some writing in here. So I made a text layer. I'm going to press F6 and right about here, I'm going to write, click on me.
I'm going to copy this layer, put it on the down state, but this time I'm going to rotate it slightly with my transform tool, which the shortcut is Q. And then also on the overstate, I'm going to ra rotate it the opposite direction. So let's see what we have. Going back from the egg button to the scene level, I'm going to do control and test my movie in flash. And here's where it gets really fun. The little penguin is dancing only until your mouse goes over the egg does the egg click. Now for an extra surprise, let's go back to the button and where the penguin is. Let's actually take him out of the overstate and only leave him in the downstate. Let's go back to the scene, control, test movie, and you will see that it's more of a pleasant surprise. So now when you hold your mouse over, it tells you to click, and there we go. We can tweak this even more by simply double clicking again, going into the text layer, right in the mouse over, we can put the text layer inside and once again go back to the scene level control test your movie and there now it's truly interactive mouse over it tells me to click right here click on me and the penguin comes out Now, in addition to this, we can, in the scene level, make a new layer and call it background. And we can, um, we can add a little color. and this makes it look a lot better. You can also use different shapes. For example, you can use the Polystar tool. With the Polystar tool, you can go under Windows, open up your properties, and you can change some of those options right here. You can create a star. By clicking on the star option and pressing OK and then you can add some wonderful little stars in the background as well. Once you're finished with your back background, you could also add a little shadowy effect, which is quite fun. So go back to your oval, maybe change the color to a lighter gray, and create a great little shadow effect under the egg. If you want it a little bit darker, select it. You can get rid of the stroke. Select the shadow, and just darken it a little bit. And since the egg has a shadow, we might as well put one for the penguin. So what we'll do is just click, create a little shadow under his feet. Let's use the same direction for it. And let's go ahead and test our movie. Let's go to control, test movie. We have a SWF flash file. And there it is. There's a little banner. On the mouse over, the egg opens up, and then you click on it, and a penguin comes out. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing some of the great animation animations that you create. Take care and till next time.